know that this lady was about to go to court the other day. Now, October the 8th, you know, which a reminder, it was my birthday, y'all, Libra gang. So, you know, I've been um, kind of off the, the, the net again. Heck, I'm already behind so many stories and topics, even reviews and stuff as is. But... You know, I figure I'll make a video, do like a little recap and some of the vids. But this is not probably going to be one of my longer, longer videos. But like I said, it was my birthday. I, I know it was on the, uh, October 12th when I'm blowing this up. But you know, it's my, I'm still going to claim it's my birthday month ish. <laughs> but like i said y'all this is story is like probably uh, which i probably repeat it, it's really sad because in the end of the day there are people who are dealing with losing loved ones still can't find their loved ones and this was basically a joke and in is in bonus too of course it's got to be people who also do for him clout like the fake ass brother that we will talk about um a little later on but like i said happy birthday to me happy birthday to you know anybody who's having a birthday day or already had a birthday i'm not I'm not trying to you know sit here and be like you know uh, you know uh libras are the best and you know leave but i uh, leave anybody out behind and come lie like you know it is libra season but um i just wanted to like i said to do a rant we also know this is the month where um besides autumn starts this is you know some of the awareness this is like october is domestic violence awareness month which is cover of the blue ribbon but you know um it's time of such a, and you know love should be healthy and if say if you are in an environment or you know I pray and you know also wish for basically that you're able to get out of it whether you know because love shouldn't have to be toxic being around people shouldn't have to be a toxic experience or you know like not just experience but you shouldn't have to be in those things you know sometimes you have to get away sometimes you know some people get to help you heck you know or help you know dealing with the trauma but like i said this is you know one of the awarenesses is uh, domestic violence you know dealing with uh dv or you know da and also f cancer i will say that to all the cancers but this is uh, you know all types of F cancers but this is also uh october is known for being um of course uh breast cancer awareness month you know you may be uh, no, rel uh, uh, no relatives or you know loved ones that may be fighting this um, illness survived or if so forth or you know might have you know are no longer here with us and homecoming but like I said F cancer and it's like I said this F care awareness month and I'm not rambling but this is why the reason like years ago if say I get braids or whatever a little too scared get my hair dyed pink but it's the reason why I get pink braids one of the major reasons and one of my uh i say sister smurfy who is a um breast cancer wear survivor for example you know and my birthday month's october and i realized i like to pink again <laughs> like i do that's why i wear pink i wear pink um because of my favorite color because of october my smurfette likes to come when i said i was doing it for her and you know as long as i can do it i can't do it now unless they, they make like where i feel comfortable and they have like safe healthy dye then i would go as far as like uh dye my hair but anyways y'all while i'm still going you know and it's like a bunch of kids like okay we well gonna get the damn story but here's what happened i didn't plan i planned of course coming back and stuff and then i had issues with my phone i didn't plan on coming back and doing this video um about the carly situation it was a couple other topics i'm behind there's a couple things you know i like i said with people before that to talk about so um I just had seen whatever you know was a couple blogs that I was looking on their pages and seeing that they were talking about you know Carly again and her you know like basically um going to court and actually being charged guilty and of course you know it's gonna be downplayed but yeah let me put in some clips uh maybe a so-called little recap on some of the videos um real quick let, let let's 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 take a listen and a look have and i still do just because i was originally following a case and thinking of carly and i didn't know it really took like a month or two ago this dude carly doesn't 
uh, doesn't even have a, a, a brother. So this person making this statement is, you know, uh, hopefully we can see the same thing on here because I still have the video up of him with this fake ass plea. For a person live on the camera. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. The sister of Madeline McCann has spoken out for the first time. 18 year old Emily McCann attended a vigil to mark the sixth. Okay, y'all. I'm on CBS News, and this was just posted today, October 12th, 2023, at 5:16 p.m. by CBS News by Carla. And I'm not about to tackle that last name. Okay. Um, who wrote this article? Um, Carly's only to pay almost um, 18000 for a hoax kidnapping facing jail time. Alabama nurse student Carly, uh, uh, Carly, the Carly uh, Nicole Russell was found guilty of false kidnapping ordered to pay about 18000 restitution and spend a year in jail. The Hoover County director confirmed uh, into CBS News. Russell's attorney appealed the decision and the case is still technically in quote quote investigative state. The spokesperson for the Alabama Attorney General told CBS News. Russell 25 who made national headlines on July the 13th when she called 911 to report a toddler missing on a highway in Hoover, Alabama. Plead not guilty on Wednesday. But George Brad Bishop found Russell guilty for filing a false police report and falsely reporting the incident, the Hoover County uh, Court Director said. Let me read more. She was ordered to pay um, 18, uh, um, $831 to a $500 fine and 331 court costs for each misdemeanor uh, charge, as well as over $17,000 in restitution. She also faces a year jail or six months, uh, uh, six months jail time on each charge, uh, the, the court uh, director said. When Hoover police officers arrived on the scene after her call within five minutes of, be, of being uh, dispatched, Russell was was missing. Authorities located her car, cell phone, wig, and purse. Her Apple Watch was in the purse. Uh, the search was launched after Russell was reported missing involving local and state and federal agencies. A large group of volunteers or, uh, organized by Russell's parents also assisted in the search effort. Russell returned home two days later on July 15, telling Lost Force that she had been kidnapped and escaped. Okay, well, I've got to go to mention tr crackers. Let's keep reading. Uh, she said she was in a truck trailer with a man who Russell said had orange hair and was accompanied by a woman. She also said she could hear a baby crying. I don't remember, was it the blindfold too? Police weren't able to verify a report, and a week later, Russell issued a statement stating that the kidnapping was a host and apologized. Do a statement because she didn't directly do it herself. Um, Russell's attorney says she will appeal the decision in uh, circuit court. The judge agreed with the appeal. The, the court uh, uh, director said, and the case will now go to circuit court. Uh, let's look at this. Hopefully, it's not an ad, but you know, um, is it going to load up? Well, I guess it's not about to load up. Well, that's a uh, re off this article. Um, I had up of the cool cool paper playing for his sister to come back. See, I just seen this less than 30 minutes before beginning to make this video about him, you know, like changing his like assistant, not like biologically his sister, but like, oh, you know, this is, you know, our sister in Christ, you know, trying to change everything, you know, what he said. So basically, I'm just going to have a couple more clips to kind of show like kind of a mini recap of the video that I um the videos that I made we're kind of like a couple of Instagram posts and we'll be putting in um you know like her you know this update of the story and it, it, I'm not gonna lie there will be a couple times where certain you know stuff stuff will be repeat with a little different from information you know I wasn't gonna make this like I said hopefully not a long, uh, um, a long video but it, it just is really crazy and it's sad about how the story came to be about and where is it go going um, it, um about someone who is like oh well I did this shit whatever 
but let's get into these clips y'all and we'll take it from there y'all want to follow me instagram touch the ctv with 7777 but i'm here because like i said i had you know like the clips like i said i was really concerned and stuff so here let's hear from the fake ass brother first statement mr carly russell is missing mm -hmm. my sister was traveling on i-459 after leaving work okay. here in hoover alabama mm -hmm. she spotted a toddler and she stopped to render aid as any decent human being with a heart would do contacted 911 as she's been taught and then she spoke with another one of our family members my family member hears a scream and then my sister vanishes along with that toddler her car and belongings were all left at the scene we have no idea what she is this story is not hitting the national cover and we all know why but you can help like $25,000 reward for information that leads to the safe return of my sister Carly Russell. You can also contact 205-401-3365 if you have any information that can help. Again, my sister, our sister, deserves to be returned home safely. If you are a believer, you understand. I'm gonna go Did they just play Mary J. Blige, Say My World with the 1997 album, The Star Version? Okay. Okay, don't have no sound, Carly, or details been found, about we just been found. Uh, thank goodness, Carlos Rob. Okay, intro statement. And this was a wheat treat. <laughs> I said wheat tweet. Okay. Thank you, um, goodness. He's alive. I said boyfriend Carly's issues probably now. Ex, I think. Statement confirming she was kidnapped by okay Aaron Bougie, the boyfriend Car Carly Lia, Nicole Russell, the nursing student who vanished after stopping to check on a toddler. Warning on the side of Alabama Highway. Released a statement that she was in fact kidnapped. Uh, Tamar Latrell Simmons released a statement on Instagram Sunday afternoon saying that the 25 year old was a little fighting for her life for 48 hours he revealed that she is not physically nor mentally stable enough to provide an update at this time he thanked everyone that that helped spread awareness about the case also thank you to everyone who shared the picture came out to the hoop or meet to help us with the search parties and who went and proceeded to tell others carly to bring more awareness to her story he continued i have been uh, going nonstop since i received the call that she was missing on thursday night he said he would not have given up until he saw her face again and was confident that uh, confident she would do the same for him he included a carousel pictures of the couple along with several videos of russell russell was found alive on saturday after being missed for 48 hours she vanished from the highway after calling one and alerting her family that she was stopping to check on a child walking on the side of the road while on the phone with her brother's girlfriend uh, she asked if the, uh, um, she asked if the child was okay, but a response was never heard. Instead, the family member uh, heard Russell scream and then lost contact with her. On on Saturday, the family called 911 around 11, uh, 10 45 p.m. after a show to her parents' house. In a state of shock, she was transported to the hospital for evaluation. Okay, now. This is when I was uh, starting to talk where it's like, okay, this is on some other stuff. Touch the sea. In this quick little video, I'm just letting you know um, that I did create a video will be posted on YouTube later. And I originally had a video, a snippet of the YouTube video about this Carly Warsaw situation with the new evidence turning in and bending. Um, as, um, as most of us probably know, um, last weekend she, um, was reported. Okay, but that's just like a video, because for whatever reason, when I had it on the Tiki Talk, they had, uh, my video, I got a, a, actually a cop, a, a, a strike on my, two, uh, uh, my TikTok 
for saying that I was bullying and harassing. I'm like, what the, the hell? It's just uh, what is up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C. Just I, and today, I didn't know I was going to be making another video about the Carly Russell situation. But recently today, just a couple hours ago, there's been a press conference of her making her own statement that she admitted that there was no child, there was no abduction, and so forth, which I found um, through a shout out to B. Scott's um, their website, and also through Phil Lewis, um showing um, the um, with the preference conference. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, and that's that. And here... Uh, that's another one that also uh, uh, uh sir time we should have got more than that and i need to do follow up on but yeah this this what is up y'all it is me tasha c and in this particular video again it's the song that never ends miss clout herself carely russell is that bullying harassment I i'll get to that later while i'm saying that okay Okay, I just wanted to do like, you know, a quick like, you know, roundabout like, you know, I wasn't going to go through all, of course, all the views and put it, uh, put them in. But, you know, just like, you know, you know, a flashback about, you know, before we got to this point here, we got her. This is from Hollywood Unlocked footage showing Carly Rose arriving in the court before being found of two misdemeanor challengers. Okay, footage of certain internet car Lee Rose arriving in the court today while reporters questioning about her fake abduction. Hey, Okay, this was just like a follow-up that I read in a per personally, but let's go to another article real quick. Now, this is on Neighborhood Talk. Okay. I guess I don't have any sound. This is when she leaves the court after pleading my guilty. However, the judge found her guilty, and this is when the circuit court. Okay, so... It don't seem to be sound on that one, but we'll read this real quick. Carly Russell, 26, was found guilty by Huber, uh, Manuso judge, oh, I, I'm always going to mispronounce that word, on Wednesday for faking her own abduction. The ruling came after Russell pleaded not guilty to charges of false reporting to law enforcement authorities and falsely reporting an incident. Despite her plea, the Manuso judge, Brad Bishop, found her guilty based on the recommendation of state prosecutors. Bishop recommended one year in jail and $17,800 Seventy-four dollars in restitution. He also remained with two fines of eight hundred thirty-one dollars each. Okay. So, um, sorry. I like. I don't feel like going through clips. I know this is a little bit lazy. Me just going up and down a little bit on, on the stroll here. But I'm telling y'all, I did not even know that this that she was going to court until I started seeing it post on the blogs about this, okay? So, like I said, I'm just talking so it doesn't seem like, you know, it's just um, dead sound, nothing's going on. Um, but, like I said, I don't, I don't know why I don't see any more about it, okay? But, that was just a couple of news ar articles to follow up about it, okay? If I don't see any more, I mean, of course, there's more, but if I don't see any more, well, that's it for that one, y'all. Um, that was just a little news snippet or whatever. I guess they didn't, were allowed to have, like, say, reporters or anything, um, you know, inside the courtroom. But, y'all get the, you know, get get what um you know the little video uh, footage but basically her coming in and out of the court okay and that's that okay y'all um well i'm pretty much about to wrap this up it'll be two more video clips that's kind of 
updating us and kind of recapping again and then i'm about to get out of here y'all oh let me get back to this i'm sure like i say y'all trying to be uh, more consistent with this but anyway y'all um i'm about to get out of here hugs and loves and if you stay to the end of the video thank you very much for your time but also too um if y'all want to find me in my context even though i'm more so most active like say besides of course being on youtube it's like the tiktok um, i'm on there so my facebook page but i'm like between more so instagram and tiktok is where i'm more active so anyways y'all hugs and loves and if you like click my bio and see the link tree that has all the links to where you can find me but like i said if you like what you see here don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you hugs and love and y'all take care in the jazz from brand their actual website and from the reporter journalist for monique nicole uh, when this was posted on october the 11 2023 now here's an update um carly found guilty on two disciplinary charges related to the uh, kidnapping whole state means when you're in jail 18 k restitution you know this is her infamous smiling mugshot like shit ain't funny like uh, you know just ridiculous okay this is update so i guess you know it was originally you know they're updating the article when she went into court okay update on october the left card might be sir uh, might serve jail time for a crazy kidnapping host according to news reports the alabama woman was found guilty today october the 11th of two misdemeanors false reporting to law enforcement and falsely reporting an incident in relation to a kidnapping oh y'all forgive me i hate when the phone don't, don't you hate when when Okay, false reporting to law enforcement, falsely reporting an incident in relation to kidnapping claims. Reportedly, the state has recommended one year in jail, $17,874 uh, restitution, and two fines of $831 each. Russell's law has already revealed plans to file appeals, stating that after a court hearing, you can find uh, if you can find where someone was put in jail for that, bring the file to me and I look that up. Generally, they're not put in jail. Even though that woman didn't get much time, the other woman that it, um that I didn't know about and two supported on Shot Lovely TV's um one of her posts about a woman who was accused of lying and say that a Mexican couple was trying to kidnap, I think, her child in the parking lot, even though I think it's barely like a couple months or something that she was jailed for making a false report. Okay he added restitution we don't disagree with that but lock her up and put her in jail we disagree carly russell 25 became a household name over the summer after she called the police claiming to have seen a toddler on the side of the interstate uh of um 1459 didn't they say something about cheese it since she has some cracks or something anyways however once before these made it made it to the scene russell was nowhere to be found she reappeared 48 hours later at her parents home and said that she was taken against her will it was ultimately revealed that the you be nursing fabricated entire story also one thing to remember is not only was it fabricated she also said that she seen the man heard a child and was blindfolded the same baby first she seen i guess what the baby looked like then she said a lady had failed her you know she was new she was nude but she was not you know essayed or anything and then she was fed like cheese and crackers or something you know then she was finished to return and she ran out the car you know today it's still clear why she lied however it's widely speculated rest of faith her own disappears attempt to get a attention of her ex-boyfriend okay now here we go back do, 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 at original story now july to 28 2023 carly russell has officially been charged with two dismissed demeanors carly russell alabama still in the lied about being inducted for 49 hours is now facing criminal justice due to a kidnapping host go wrong prosecutors in hoover alabama charged carly with two misdemeanors falsely reporting to law enforcement authorities and falsely reporting of an incident uh, uh, with each charge carrying up to one year in jail according to hoover police chief nicholas c Durris, the arrest warrant was issued earlier today july 28th carly surrendered to authorities for returning standing with her spy side she was later released by jail after posting 2000 bond with a smile as if she was posing for you know live touch photos or glam shots okay and in, in a news conference there was had to say this about carly's actions her decisions that night created panic and alarm for citizens of our city even across the nation as concern grew that the kidnapper was on the loose using a snout from small child as bait the, sto the story opened wounds for families whose loved ones were really victims of kidnappers some of which even um held uh, organized searches okay yeah there was a woman who went to that that actually tried to that actually helped her 
I may put that in a future video because as you see, it's at least going to be released a couple more videos possibly going on since the, she's trying to get this appealed, y'all. Okay? This is... Uh, I need to turn that feature off. Sorry, y'all. Y'all wonder like, what the hell? You actually watching this in the sideways? Okay. Let me continue this last part. Russell's attorney, Amar Anthony, told sources, what we're dealing is a young lady who made a use of stage. She's been arrested and has been charged and eager to finish up and uh, e eager to finish up and will be through it. She's dealing with some issues. We all look forward to. Uh. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I had to cut that part out. Um, but anyways, as you may know, earlier this month, 25-year-old Carly Russell went with missing for nearly 48 hours. She's gone on one away from work, claiming there was a child walking the interstate uh, 45 9 and getting out. Russell said she was kidnapped by a man who had orange hair. Um, the USB student eventually uh, found her way home to the door. She managed to escape. However, since she retracted her claims during her press office, she direct shared her remarks from a lawyer who said there was no kidnapping. On Thursday, July 13th, 2003, my client did not see him on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she identified as a missing perk, where she did a miss home. My client did not have help in this incident, but this was single act done by herself. In a statement, Carly asked for forgiveness and prayers from the members of her community, law enforcement volunteers who were searching for her. There is, um, um, there is said police was unclear about Russell's whereabouts during the 49 hours that she was missing. What are your thoughts about this?